Hello everyone, I'm KillerVZ2 and welcome to another episode of Gun Mistakes. Today, uh, we're playing Halo 2. Uh, just like the first episode, I will not be showing Covenant weapons, seeing as how they don't really abide by any known laws of physics yet. Uh, I will be sticking to traditional firearms, meaning, you know, no rocket launchers, no Covenant weapons, no mounted vehicle weapons, just weapons you can carry and fire, you know, your typical you know, gunpowder propellant projectile weapon. And we will start with the pistol. Uh, it's a different model than in Halo 1. It's like the M6C uh, versus, it was like an M6D in Combat Evolved. Uh, it fires the same round, the 12.7 by 40 millimeter. So it's still a massive round. Uh, it does fire faster in this one. Um, it has less recoil has the same capacity um, around this big being fired by a Spartan makes sense that he could handle this recoil but other Marines seem to be able to handle it just fine too which doesn't quite fit uh, the swap animation is fine he just flicks the uh, safety on and off the reload animations uh, right there he just pops clip out pops it in a full empty of the gun he pops it in, pops it out. So that is, right now, the first official mistake. Uh, the slide should lock open, or at least you have to rack it. And, as with the other game, he does not chamber that extra 13th round when he uses it. Next up, as you can see, if you've played these games before, we have the SMG. It fires a 5.7 by 23 millimeter round that's a very small round it's somewhere along the lines of what you can see in many special purpose SMGs or more as many people prefer to call them PDWs it's a shortened rifle round now as you can see here there is an ejection port as it looks like and uh, there's the uh, bolt uh, retractor there but this gun fires caseless ammo as you can see, no shells are ejecting. Uh, I imagine the extractor there is just for, you know, loading one into the chamber. Because, uh, whoops. <laughs> as you can see, no bullets are ejected, which is not a mistake, seeing as how it is caseless. His swap animation is fine. He just pulls it out. The reload. There is a slight problem here. Is As I mentioned just a little bit ago, he doesn't manually put a bullet in, put a round into the chamber. It just simply pops in the magazine, which the gun would be technically empty if you did a whole reload like this. See it out here. The gun would be empty. He would not be able to fire until he load, specifically loads another round into the chamber. Uh, the magazine size seems fine. Again, I don't know all the dimension of this uh, fictional round. Uh, it's 60 rounds in a magazine. It does not do particularly a lot of damage, but again, it, it is a small Focus round. On the crap. Next up, we have probably the oddest gun, human gun that is, in this game. We have the battle rifle. It is a three round burst assault rifle. Uh, battle rifle is a specific designation many people use for more of a marksman type longer range heavy caliber rifle which it is a heavy caliber it is a 9.5 by 40 millimeter which is pretty big yet the case is short so it's it's not exactly a ranged weapon per se despite having the name battle rifle and having the two times scope which if this were a battle rifle um, that was planned on using for more marksman purposes, it would have a heavier scope, uh, more of a between 4 and 10 times zoom sort of deal. You don't have to have them with scopes, but if it is for those purposes, um, this, uh, around this heavy and short, um, would be slow. It'd pack a punch, and this gun does pack a punch, but it would definitely be for more short to medium range use than... A battle rifle would normally be used for here you can see and I'm gonna 
say this isn't a mistake. I'm gonna say this is a future technology we haven't gotten to quite yet. When he goes to open it, take the magazine out, the bolt comes open and then the bolt shuts itself. So we're gonna just chalk that up to science. <laughs> so not a mistake um, in the reloading that way. Uh, the swap animation is fine. Again, he just pulls it out. A full emptying of the gun. Let me show you here. Has the same animation, which, again, not really a mistake. The magazine is a little small for something that would hold 36 rounds of this fictional round. Um, no, again, don't know the exact dimensions, but it's going to be pretty substantial diameter-wise. And that magazine is actually very, very small here. I'll show you a couple here, reloads here real quick. You can catch it just a little bit. Very, very small. Another, again, we'll, we'll chalk this up to an oddity. Uh, if it was a battle rifle, a three-round burst, you know, keeps you, you know, fairly accurate at distance. Uh, something with this heavier round, though, would kick a lot more. Granted, he's a Spartan, but making this standard issue for Marines and giving it that burst fire, I would imagine they'd have trouble handling it. And, again, burst is for much, you know, generally longer distances than what this round would suggest as being an up-close, really powerful weapon. Next up, we have the Sniper Rifle. And, just like in the first game, it's... I believe the same model fires the same round, the 114, or sorry, the 14.5 by 114 millimeter. Uh, very heavy round, as you can see, they're taking out an elite. Uh, the reloading is where there's some trouble. Here he pops one in, puts one in, makes sense. But here, if I empty the full magazine, he does the same thing. So. Again, the gun would be empty right now and wouldn't be able to shoot. Uh, the swap animation is fine. Just like pretty much all the guns in this game, they find a, kind of fixed that up since the first game. He just pulls it out. No, keep. Uh, he doesn't keep charging the handle and popping around out. Nothing like that. Doesn't even mess with the safety, really. Uh, the scope, as you can see in this one, is actually a live feed, even when you're not zoomed in. Uh, they did change it to a 5 and a 10 times, so the 2 and the 10 times, which... I guess is a little bit better, but again, still very, very low magnification for such a significant round that this would be firing. This is a very long range rifle. It's about a equivalent to a 57 caliber. And that 114 millimeters designates how long the case is, and that is a lot of oomph. And last but not least, we have the shotgun. I wanted to show a marine holding it here What's real it? quick. Because as you can see, unlike in the first game, this does have the side ejection port. So now when I take it from him, I can show you, if you watch carefully from the side, a shotgun shell does come out. However, it is delayed, and I am going to chalk that up to a mistake, because this is a manual action, you know, pump action shotgun, and no science should be really... You know, super advanced and pumping a shell out delayed. That doesn't make any sense to me. But here, I'll show you a full reload. Right here. He does reload much slower than the first game, which is, you know, I didn't mark his mistake the first time, but this is better. He does not pump one in. Now, this should be empty, but I shoot and it still works. And the other reload's the same pretty much you know he puts them in you can't stop him whenever you want which makes sense you can do that with a shotgun just keep whatever shells you have in it does still hold 12 which is as you can see a very small you know tube at this angle up there there is no way this could hold 12 H gauge 8 gauge shells I am still marking that as a mistake this gun is very deadly up close as it should be. However, it should be much, much more effective at farther away. An 8 gauge was a very, very heavy hunting shell. Presumably this is loaded with a buckshot, as most military shotgun shells are. But as you can see, 
it does nothing after a good 20 yards. In fact, you can see the bullets actually, sorry, the pellets actually don't even make it to the wall. They just disappear, which is definitely a mistake. Shotguns, unlike in video games, are actually very useful up to, I would say, effective range of 50 yards, maximum range of about 100. That should do it for this episode. Uh, you may have noticed I didn't say for all guns, you know, all the mistakes for all the guns at the beginning. Um, picking up more ammo than in them, that's just a game mechanic, I understand that. If you have a shotgun laying there, the player wants to be able to pick up more than just the 12 maximum that could be in the shotgun. Same with all the other guns. Uh, one mistake that is still with all guns is the not being able to chamber the extra round. But, not many games do feature that. A game off the top of my head that does feature it is the Tom Clancy Rainbow Six games. If you're a diehard for guns, they get most of their stuff right. So, that'll be the end of this episode of Gun Mistakes featuring Halo 2, the Master Chief Collection version, Anniversary. I like the better graphics. <laughs> Who doesn't? And hopefully you'll join me next time.